Hey guys, what's up? It's Theo at Rockstar, and uh, doing a video on what we've had a lot of questions on lately. We've been getting a lot of emails and uh, messages on YouTube and Facebook about how do we house all our animals. Kind of simple. Uh, we do all animal plastics rack systems. Uh, they're the molded PVC or compressed PVC. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's the same stuff all animal plastics are made out of. Uh, it's great, it's strong, uh, I love how easy it is to put together, and uh, works great for us. I have all our hot spots at 90 degrees, uh, that's inside the tub, not directly on the uh, heat tape itself. That works perfect. Um, for our adults and larger sub-adults, uh, they go into these 28 quart tubs. This female is like about, I think she's around 700 grams, so not the biggest female, but Still got a lot of area to grow. Uh, this house is pretty much anything up to two years, males for their life. Um, most females for quite a long time until they get, you know, 3,000 ish grams, 2,700 ish grams, and they start getting a little too small or too, too big for these smaller tubs. And then they should be moved to like a 41 quart. Um, newspaper at the bottom because we get it readily, uh, it works for us, it's clean, easy to change out, and uh, we have newspapers around here that fit nearly the exact same dimensions as our tubs, so it works perfectly. For our water bowl, we go by, uh, in bulk, the Crocs. Um, we prefer the, the blue with the tan on the outside, that we get a lot of those, and uh, I have a, a box, actually, in this room uh, of hatchling ones, because you know, hatchling season, it's its ridiculous. You just need a bunch of bulls, so it's the easiest way to do it. They're real cheap when you buy in bulk, and uh, they're, I mean, they're going to last as long as you take care of them. You don't, you know, drop them, break them. They last quite a long time, so it's definitely worth the investment in picking them up. And uh, just overall, how we clean the tub, uh, I use uh, chlorhexidine diluted clean the tub out, wipe it all down with paper towels, make sure there's no poop, no urates, nothing like that. Keep it well clean, dry it all out, and then uh, put down fresh newspaper. We actually do uh, two layers of newspaper, just so it's a little bit more absorbent. And uh, then go scrub the bowl down, put fresh water into it, make sure it's not slimy, make sure the water's, you know, if your bowl's slimy, it's not clean. So make make sure make sure everything's clean because uh, I, don't know, I I really care about these animals. I don't want my animals being sick. I, if I'm not gonna drink out of that bowl, I don't want them drinking out of that bowl. So make sure it's really clean. Um, and you know, fresh newspaper, nice clean water and bowl, nice clean tub. That's that's their setup. It's it's pretty simple. Um, haven't had any problems with it. I know a lot of people use it like that, so it's what we've been sticking with, and it works really well. It's uh, a lot cheaper than doing like an aspen bedding or something like that. Um, we have great humidity here in Washington, so we don't have to worry about um, spraying our animals all the time. If they go in the shed, we spray them down, keep it all nice and wet in there, and then they have a nice, nice shed. But our humidity stays pretty high, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, Feeding wise, this girl at 700 grams, um, you know, it goes by animal to animal, and this girl's kind of a grumpy girl. But uh, as you can see, she's got a decent thickness to her. She's not the biggest thing in the world, but she does eat fairly well. She's about a year old, and uh, she eats a frozen thawed small rat. So, uh, and we do that once every seven days. We don't try to power feed, we try not to stuff our animals full. Um, you know, the, the whole goal of breeding for us is to produce awesome looking animals on top of the animals we already have. So, I don't, I, I know Ted, me, and Shauna rather not feed our animals heavily just and have them go a year later rather than feed them heavily and have them go the year we want. Um, because honestly, overfeeding your animals is just as bad as underfeeding them. Uh, if you overfeed, they can get fatty liver disease, they start metabolizing food far too fast and they get much less of the nutrition and more of the fat and the bad things from the uh, the rodents and so they start keeping more fat and less nutrition and 
they keep wanting more and more food because they're metabolizing it much faster. Um, we just stick to the one, you know, one one rat once a week that's about the same size as their body, same thickness as their body. Um, we stick to that rule and we, uh, we don't really sway from it. Um, hatchlings, on the other hand, they get a little bit different schedule sometimes and they might get a little bit bigger meal. Um, Hatchlings usually start off on uh, adult mice or like a, a rat pup or like a large fuzzy. Um, and then right after that they get bumped up to uh, an extra large mouse or a, uh, a rat pup, yeah. And uh, then they're, they're on that for a while and then they get bumped up, you know, after they gain some weight and they go through a couple sheds. They get bumped up to a weaned rat and then eventually to a small and so on. Um, housing them uh in, in size housing them proper housing for their size this girl was in a 15 quart tub and she was just recently moved over to the 28 quart um she could probably still live in a 15 quart absolutely fine uh 15 quart for anyone who doesn't know would probably be about the same size as that white crease down the center of the newspaper so it'd be about that size um you know absolutely nothing wrong with that um but we, we keep them from the six quart tubs until they're about 300 grams, maybe a little bit like 400 grams, and then move them over to the uh, six or the uh, what is it, the 15 quart tubs? Maybe they're 16 quart tubs, something like that. Move them over to those size, and uh, they stay in there until they hit about 700 ish grams, and they get moved into the 28 quarts, and that honestly works the best for us. Um, no hides in the rack system because they are completely sealed in from all sides of darkness. Uh, the only light they get is from the front of their tub. And, uh, you know, we don't have tons of traffic in here. It's just one of us three usually, unless the dog's walking around or something. But um, none of these animals get stressed from, uh, from handling them or anything like that. They all stay eating very well and works really well for us. Uh, if you're into displaying your animals this is definitely not the way to go uh there's definitely better choices out there for display but uh for the most part this is how we house house all our animals except for the very few we do display right.